Hey everybody, Tom here for Beyond Walt Disney Planet. I am at Central Florida Zoo and Botanical Gardens. Now this is just outside of Orlando to the north in Sanford, Florida. Alright, so the zoo is just off of Interstate 4 and Highway 1792. It's in uh, Sanford, Florida. Uh, it's a 116-acre zoo, so uh, the actual zoo portion of the property is on the smaller side compared to some of the other zoos that I've visited. They still have a nice selection of animals, including giraffes. They have a rhino, a uh, couple kitty cats. As I've walked around, they've been sleeping, so I'm hoping to get a look of the big cats that they have here. They have alligators, crocodiles, uh, two different species of giraffe. They also have botanical gardens throughout the park. Uh, butterflies, you'll be able to see a lot of different stuff. Uh, Florida, native vegetation that you can plant in your own area that will attract butterflies. So we're going to go take a look around and uh, see what type of animals we'll find. Looked all around the zoo and could not find a actual park map. So I'm showing you the paper folded map that they gave us when you enter. So like I said, not a huge zoo, but it does have a nice selection of animals. Right, so before entering the actual zoo, got the Wayne M. Dunks uh, Discovery Center. It's the insect zoo. Okay. Check this out real quick. They have multiple display cases showcasing the different species and types of insects. This is all different butterflies and moths. Jeez, look at the size of these beetles. These are all real insects. These aren't made out of rubber. These are actual insects. Obviously they are no longer alive, but all real insects. These are insects from all over the world. Cicadas and lanternflies. Those are smaller. Different types of butterflies. These are really cool because they're kind of translucent. Milkweed butterflies and wood nymph butterflies down below here. Man, these are huge also. Imagine seeing some of these bugs on your on your back. Grasshoppers, walking sticks, and mandrids. Or mantids, I'm sorry, mantids. Wow. This got a giant praying mantis. Now this one is not real. Just a rep. This uh, probably got Madagascar hissing cockroaches. I actually got a chance to hold one of these once when I was younger. And they actually do make a hissing noise. There's a plaque on the wall. This building holds the party rooms, educational areas, when school groups come. We have other insects you can look at. So right past the insect zoo is actual entrance to the Central Florida Zoo and Botanical Gardens. Signs all over the zoo point you in the direction of the different animal exhibits. All right, first up we got a Grand Cayman Rock Iguana. Down here now, I apologize for the reflection, it's just the way the sun is shining. It's a good size iguana. Go inside the herbitarium and check out some of the other lizards and snakes, stuff like that. Got a Mexican 
pygmy rattlesnake. You know, looking at me. What's up, Mr. Emission Snake? Got a Gaboon Viper. That's a good sized snake. Yes, this is a venomous snake. Got an African bullfrog. Boy, that is a big froggy. Oh boy. A black breasted leaf turtle. Oh my god. That's a cute turtle. Got another one sticking out of the cave. A prehensile tailed skink. Did she say turtle? It's funny, I was expecting something smaller, but this is a, it's a good size. A Sri Lankan pit viper. Oh, here's a different colored snake. That is a. Nice colors. It's a Mexican cantaloupe. It is. Just all curled up. Central American jumping viper. I want this thing to jump up at ya. It's a Florida king snake. It's moving around here. You see how long he is. It's a Florida pine snake. Just chilling out. Got an Eastern Indigo Snake. Pretty sure. Yeah, there's his head. His body goes all the way around. A Timber Rattlesnake. That's a nice looking snake too. Florida cotton mouth, also known as a water moccasin. When they're in the water, they usually have their heads like sticking up out of the water. The eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Said so they got two of them in here. Say albino, maybe? Got an emerald tree boa. <laughs> so you can get some mist. I'm blowing on them. There's another one up there. Got an Aruba Island rattlesnake. Very comfortable. Got an Egyptian cobra. That's an He's like climbing up his little statue. Oh, there he goes. See how long he is, or she. This one's moving. This is really cool. It's an eyelash viper. This really nice looking yellow color. New animal they have in here, a Galadian giant gecko. Oh, look at the gecko. You ever wanted to see what underneath the gecko looked like? Well, there you go. That's what the belly side of a gecko looks like. Got some cotton top tamarins. Cute little one. They're like all 
over the place. Some American crocodile. Look at the crocodile, man. Out of the water right now. There's mouth open waiting for something to crawl in it. This is Arenico Crocodile. Yeah, this one's got its mouth open too. I guess that's how they maybe regulate their body temperature. Well, kind of cute. And of course we got an American alligator. Florida has many, many alligators. Pretty much any body of water that has fresh water might have an alligator in it. A little smaller alligator. Yeah. And this part of the zoo is called the Florida Trek Nature Walk. And I see a lot of names or business names carved into the planks. This is all the people that have donated money to the zoo. All right, we got some bald eagle. We got two of them just relaxing. There are some beautiful birds. I just out there's a little baby ones in there. Right, these are the Florida black bears. These are a brother and sister. Uh, I got this information from the keeper in, uh, inside the exhibit. They were actually taken from family in Florida that were keeping them as pets when they were cubs. Yeah, they're about three and a half years old. About three quarters of the way grown. Very cute bears. Central Florida has a wild bear population. So the bears have a nice size habitat. Building in the back is where they're housed in the evening. But during the daytime they're out in this enclosure. I got a black handed spider monkey. Hi. Just happened to look over and see an orange tail go by. <gasps> Don't go. Got a high Kenneth macaw. Some nice blue colors. All right, these are just called macaws. See, I like the other two that were all blue. Macaws have more colors. Oh, look at all that. Got all sorts of colors. It's got a nice little lake. And he has some wild turtles. You can see him right there. Even though it's a zoo, this is a wild turtle. Now, the zoo does have a splash pad, but as it is uh, early November, the weather is going to start cooling down perhaps, splash pad is down for the season. All right, right up in the front of the park, they got Barnyard Buddies Children's Zoo. Got alpaca and llamas. This is a llama. This is Andre the llama. Little Andre the llama. Oh. He likes compliments and photographs. <gasps> Hello. He doesn't spit, does he? I only if you're nasty to him. Oh, okay. Do you want to feed on? We got a boar goat. Got that nice long ears. There we go. Okay. 
see people coming up with food. Hi, Goat. Well done. You gotta get down. You kiss me. Well, let's, let's move Lola here. Nice soft looking fur. Hi, Goat Goat. Alright, we got Pygmy Goat. This goat's up on the rocks. Hi, Goat. <gasps> Hi. We got some pygmy goats in here also. Yeah, this one here is Morton. Morton? And that is Dougie. And those two have a baby together named Gremlin. Uh, got some donkeys. Now they are on a special diet, so they don't want anybody giving them food that they feed to the goats or llamas. A little better view of the two donkeys. Of course, any time you touch barnyard animals, you want to make sure you wash your hands. They do have a nice hand washing station with paper towels. You can dry your hands. All right, wreathed hornbill. Now this is literally the fifth time I've come back to this enclosure. He's finally out. Finally out. So you can see them. Ooh. Hi. Hello. Aren't you a pretty bird? Yeah. Oh, we got the cougar. I've come back to this enclosure many times throughout the day. Every time I came by, it was sleeping. Yeah, so that's I'm what she was so, doing up yeah, there. So happy to see she's finally down. Always recommend come back to an enclosure. If you don't see the animal you're looking for, come back. And they're put in like a hundred feet. That's a nice big kitty. Very nice. Got an African spurred tortoise. This guy's walking all over the place. Hey! Getting some exercise. It was pretty quick. And then we got a Chacoan Hickory. Got two in here. The two Jacoan pickeries are out a little bit more. See a little better view of them. And they got some warthog. There's three. Hi, piggies. Oh, I hope I didn't offend him. Yep, yep. Turn his back on me. Let's got an Adabra tortoise. See, so he's having some a snack of grass. All right, we got cheetahs. Okay, I know it's hard to see. This is all the way back in the enclosure. And it looks like there's two of them, but they are sleeping. So I'm gonna show you just how far back they are when I zoom out. See just how far back they are. See. Right, well, the zoo is called the Central Florida Zoo and Botanical Gardens. So they got a nice little pond.
And butterfly season, you have a lot of butterflies around here, but uh, butterfly season is basically over. So they have a lot of plants that flower and attract butterflies. Well, I was thinking butterfly season was over, but there's some butterflies all around. Look at that. Fluttering all around. Look at the butterflies. See a lot of little yellow butterflies flapping around. Lots of other plants and flowers that will attract the butterflies as well. Here's a nice yellow butterfly. But you get them all over the place around. Yeah, lots and lots fluttering around. All right, so in addition to the water pad play area, they also have a little park area, climbing stuff, slides. You got some giraffe. Got two different types of giraffes. And then we got giraffe feeding. This is a Maasai. Is it right, Maasai? And his yeah. name is Gage. Okay, Gage is Maasai giraffe. And Rafiki is the reticulated giraffe behind the other one. That's cool. This is the Amor Leopard. Leopard's just walking back and forth. All right, so the porcupine habitat is right over here, but it is being painted. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show them to you. But this is another one of their little garden areas. We've got a North American River Otter. Okay. The reflection is really, really bad, so I'm trying to hold my map up to block the reflection. But there's two of them there taking a nap. Let's go. Like I said, I'm sorry about the reflection, but you know, it's just the time of day. Otters do spend a lot of time out of the water. It's kind of out by the water now. Otter's actually in the water swimming. Came back around again. Got a two toed sloth. Very, very slow animals. Just hanging out. Kind of moving around a little bit. I was just moving around the cage, but kind of stopped. All right, it's called a fossa. All right, the fossa is in here running all around. You see in the back. Coming up at the front. They're cute. Small like a house cat. We got a ring-tailed lemur. She called it cute. Yes! So we got two in here. We got one there and then another one in the back. We got a brown lemur. Up in his little pedestal taking a nap. We got red rough lemur. Now let's get three in this enclosure. Got one here on the left. One up in the rocks. 
and then one down below on the rocks. I was just running all over the place before I got over here. The red rough lemur moving around again. Hello. Beautiful colors. We got a clouded leopard. Looks like the clouded leopard is napping. So I will stop by again right before I leave. Our clouded leopard is still snoozing. But his tail's hanging down now. Just remember, even though you go into a zoo, the animals are not here to entertain you. <laughs> so don't get mad after sleeping. The Indian rhino. Or greater one-horned rhino. He's over there with the keeper. Possibly getting fed or just getting some attention. Alright, so our Indian rhino has moved to the other side of its enclosure. Hello! Yeah. Smoozing around. So almost the entire zoo grounds contain boardwalks that take you to different exhibits. Like you're really out in the in the wilderness, out in the woods. Lots of lots of trees, plant life. Here so I can control where he goes actually. Yeah. He actually leads me around. <laughs> Savannah monitor. I think we saw him in the uh, reptile house earlier. <laughs> so from the parking lot, head into the actual zoo area. You go through different areas that house attractions suitable for children. You get climbing. Small zip lines. A trampolines where you're attached to a harness. Giant balls where you can walk on water. Some additional zip line courses all throughout. The climbing. A lot more of the climbing platforms for the kids. They're strapped in the harnesses as they move around. Larger ones up here. Some of this is actual zip lines. Other portions are just climbing. So this is all zoo property. All right, thank you. There's someone up there zip lining. Just wait till she's out of it. Hello. Lots of different platforms. Again, you can walk on water and a big hamster ball. All right, check the ticket prices up here in the front. So three to twelve is thirteen seventy-five. Adult is nineteen dollars and fifty cents, and a senior sixty plus is fifteen ninety-five. They got a children's carousel. A better view of the carousel. This is a little bit for a coastline train. Goes around the perimeter of the property. This is right by the train station. 
The train coming into the station. Alright, so I'm sitting on the train waiting for the next loading. This is going to give you a little bit of information on this particular train. Uh, it was built in 1951 and it's a 1-5 scale replica of a famous Florida East Coast champion. It's actually steam steam train. Uh, one mile loop. Ride takes uh, between five and uh, seven minutes. Goes around the perimeter of the lower part of the property. It does not go into the actual zoo portion itself, but thirty dollars. So I figured, why not? All, right, so all, all the information. Here we go. Hot dog. Sold down. Yes, it was just Halloween. <laughs> I know, I want to go up there too. Me and you will do that when you're a little bit bigger.
Back at the beginning. That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh, All right. boy. Well, the animals. The animals. Boy, All right. It's about four and a half minutes. <laughs> this, guy, this guy's fast. <laughs> All right, everybody, that was the Central Florida Zoo and Botanical Gardens just outside of Sanford, Florida, which is just north of Orlando, Central Florida, hence the name Central Florida Zoo. So uh, I had fun. This is a much smaller zoo than I, a lot of the other zoos that I've been to, but they do have a nice selection of animals. Property itself is really large. The zoo portion with the animals is a lot smaller, but they have plenty of room to expand in the future. I came back numerous times to the different enclosures to try and get a better view of the big cats. A little bit after 1.30ish uh, right now. So cats, as you know, they sleep, they're nocturnal. As I mentioned earlier, Anytime you go to a zoo enclosure and an animal is not there, they're most likely sleeping unless it's specifically specified that they're doing rehabilitation on the enclosure, animal injury, whatever. Always go back unless it has those two things that I just mentioned. If you go back and later on time, chances of seeing the animal go up a lot. So always have that in mind. If you don't see the animal in an enclosure the first time, go back. Chances are you're gonna be able to have a nice experience seeing the animals. Uh, it's a nice zoo. Like I said, a lot smaller than normal than other zoos that I've seen, but they did still have a nice selection of animals. Nice laid out. So anyway, if you like what you saw, uh, leave a comment, give me a like, uh, it lets me know that you enjoyed what you've seen today. Uh, I plan to do a lot of other zoos that I can get around to, state of Florida and beyond. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do so and hit that notification icon. That way you'll know when I'm uploading a video. I try to upload videos uh, whenever possible. I don't currently have a set schedule when I upload videos because it's it's sporadic. But I try to get several of them up there uh, a month at least. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.